Hello everyone, I'm Maxwell and welcome to 5D Chess. Now, 5D Chess is like... It's as bad as regular chess, but five times worse, alright? Because you're not dealing with regular chess, alright? You're dealing with pretty much the multiverse of chess. And we're just gonna start up a quick game. CPU, white, regular. And it's pretty much like your standard game of chess. But pretty much, there is this giant present line that follows you around. Now, I'm not good at chess, but I'm going to see if I can just win a, win a game. I might not be able to, but we'll see. So pretty much, it's simple. I go, then they go. But you can actually see the history of the chess in this game, right? You can see the history. You have these like U history, parallel history. And what it means by parallel history is I'll try and set an example by going, right? And see this little button on the side here? It means that I can go backwards in time. And if I choose to go backwards in time, let's say I choose to go to the start again with my queen, I pretty much create a new timeline. Yes, yeah, so pretty much it's. It's pretty much Loki, but chess, alright? That's what it is. And now, pretty much, Black can move from their turn as well on this new timeline. Now, I can go here because it's coloured white, but I can't go here because Black has not finished their turn here. So, um, pretty much, the Black team has went here, but they have not went here, which means I can't continue to go there, but I can continue to go here. Now, so we'll just keep moving, and let's see, we have three sides we can go. Let's have a look at this direction. We can go that. What about this way? What if we bring it down here and take out this guy over here? And create a new timeline. So we create another timeline, pretty much. We're going to submit the moves. Now Black has went and brought a new person into from the separate timeline into the main timeline, I guess you could say. The sacred timeline. Now I can go here and here because they've moved here. Um where could I go from here? I try and bring in another queen into this but can I bring another pawn into this game? Bring a queen into this game. Ah, so I don't actually create a new time a branching timeline instead. It, that progresses the current timeline. Interesting. Okay, so would I oh, I do? The queen is missing from this timeline that is down here. What if... You know what, I'll just progress some of these timelines normally. Oh, they create a new timeline. Now, I played just a previous game before where they managed to the black team managed to win by, like, checkmating me in the past, which I still do not understand how that even works, but we'll see together, alright? Um, let's see. Let's have a look at this one first. What can we do with this? Backwards and... Okay. I'll move my queen here, maybe? Then... I'll try and get the horsey... ...out of here. I won't try to create too much timelines. I'll try and keep everything contained to these, like... ...as few as possible, so it doesn't get all wacky. 
because at that point I think the AI doesn't even like bother with other timelines they just only care about a few times where they can try and win and then so pretty much I'm locked out of like a lot of the timelines I create okay let's have a look at this two games down here now can I win anywhere here if I go here I can checkmate them maybe yeah and then with this one my spawn is there but it can go much backwards in time so that would be correct see one move two move then move like that so pretty much it's diagonal but back in time to where it currently started so that makes sense for where that horse could go backwards like that and it, same thing with here it's jumping across timelines but still going in the same shape that a horse would normally go on chess to the same spot which is correct but here see it can go forward but then it has to branch off into these two separate paths here so that makes a lot of sense that's pretty that's really ingenious i like that all right do I want to move the horsey anywhere? I don't know if I can move. I can't technically move them into the future time. Maybe I can, but they just haven't like... Should be able to move them down here, right? You know what, I'll leave that, and then we'll just... Uh, wait, do I actually have to move there? Okay, then I'll just, um, uh, I'll move this pawn right here. The horse went back in time. I'll bring another horse into this game. Do that. Actually, I have to finish all the moves. Who's there? Can I checkmate the or oh, the king anyway? Now there's a timeline with three queens. Ah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to lose you, but anyway, you do that. Do what the AI does. Bunch of. So many queens, mate, for real. I'll go here. One, two. Did I win? Oh, one! Oh, I thought, you know, like the knight was gonna take me. No, I didn't win. I'm just gonna death stack this. Death stack this timeline with nothing but queens, for real. That would be the funniest thing ever. And it would make complete sense. Uh, there's probably something that can kill me in another timeline. That, that can't be right, can it? But I've got to count, so every time I try to checkmate the king, I've got to count for every future possibility of the current status of every current game that there is. Oh my lord, that's, that's absolute nonsense, to be honest. Thank goodness we have the uh, undo button, for real. Bugger, that is some baloney. Very limited with what I can do. Uh, you know what, we'll just uh, we'll move a bunch of these uh, pawns upward. Oh my lord, they have three queens in this game, bruh. Time to even the score. Wait, no, that, that creates a br new bridging timeline, damn it. Oh, I can submit the moves. What the? I didn't have to go. Oh my lord, it's getting so chaotic. This is really, really difficult. So I need to get a chance. If 
find where and move any of these there's no queen in this timeline but if I do that it'll just create a branching timeline ah I'm gonna try and get that horsey out of here with this rock I'll bring in this pawn here and then maybe these are pure guesses by the way I have no idea what I'm doing uh, take that and this one I will back in time move that like that there we go So many timelines, man, for real. See why he who remains had to purge all the timelines, mate. Take out that queen. Pretty much this queen will be then be a goner. Wait. If I take out this queen. Every time every branching timeline is currently in the present. So for this. Let's take out the queen here. I would need to only worry about all the other future. My only way is probably to checkmate him in the past. I think. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. If I can checkmate him in the past. Did I win? Did create a... I don't think the pawns can, like, jump across time. It's only, like, the special... Special units that can do. I mean, that's a... I do get it because at that point it becomes completely chaotic, and that is true. But I still think that they should like, there should be an option for that to happen where these little pawns can move back like across time. Oh, I, I do see that actually. No, no, I take that back. I do see that because that would be diagonal. I gotta stop creating timelines for real. Now oh, this is getting out of control. I mean. What, how does I create a branch? I'm sick of creating branching timelines. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, so in order to save... No, queen now. King. In order to save my king, I need to move him out of this timeline into another time. All these timelines. So I pretty much have to create a branching timeline where my king is in it, but then he's missing from... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's have two kings there. I just saved the game. It moves. Let's see. My turn. How come they don't get a like move? They don't have their turn. Wait, what if I get checkmated in another timeline that has multiple queens? Would that still be a thing? I don't, I, I don't feel safe with this move. That. There's nothing to move. I'm going to keep myself an out room. Ah, how does they, how do they win? There is no queen in these timelines, which is really concerning. Because there's queens throughout all these other timelines. But in most of the timelines, I don't have a queen, which is really horrible. That is not ideal. I think it's wise to have a queen in, like, most timelines. Okay, then. G, G. Well, that is... That is literally 5D chess, ladies and gentlemen. I still do not understand it. Obviously, I'm going to try and win a game, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.